Today, I just wanted to make a really quick video to help you guys out. If you're wondering how to remove your shaders from your C drive, um, and put them on another drive that has more space, like as if you can see my C drive, I have 10 gigs free because I just have, uh, cause I just have such little space. I for, I partitioned my drive so I can run two OSs. Now I have such little space. So I'm always just trying to optimize that, make sure that it's never in the red. And when I was when I was in Space Sniffer, shout out to the real breezy. Shout out to the real priest. When I was in this. I've already deleted it, but it lets you see like what's taking up space, how much space it's taking up, and it puts it in like a visual format. And one of the biggest things taking up space for me was Call of Duty Cold War. And I don't I haven't had Cold War installed since the beta at the time, so it was really confusing, and I could never figure out why and where those shaders were until today. I just had to look it up, and two months ago, people were having the same issue. You can find it uh, here. This is where all your this is where all the, like the map caches are stored. I'm just gonna show you how to move that. So, shout out to. To B N N T T T T, to Bent Bent. Shout out to Bent, who just uh, made a quick little tutorial. You should want you're, you're gonna want to go to you where your um where your C drive is. Just paste this in here. It's gonna take you to your cache folder. You're gonna want to delete your cache. You want to go back to Cold War, obviously. Delete your cache folder. And then create a folder where you want your game to go. So I want my game to go. I want my game to go in this temp folder I made, Cold War, Shader Catch. This is where it's going to be redirected to. So you want to make, make your location. Once you've done that, Once you've done that, just copy it. Make sure you include the shader cache. Once you've done that, just copy it. Now you run CMD as administrator. Make sure you run it as an administrator. You're just gonna copy. This will be in the description. You're just gonna wanna copy this command. Paste it. And then copy the archive where, that you just made copy space paste it and make sure you put quotations around it oh looks like I'm gonna have to go all the way back then I just paste and you want to make sure that you uh what you put quotations and a space in between in between the first line and a quotation in between the destination and you just want to you're going to want to click enter. I already did it, so it's not going to do anything. File already exists. And when you go back to your C folder, you're going to notice that this is a shortcut file, with, which actually, haha, which actually redirects you to your hard drive. It's called a symlink. I just learned about it today from that uh, Reddit post. So I hope this guy, I hope this helps you guys out. I just want to make a quick tutorial because I know. So people are having issues. It takes up space. If you like, it wasn't, it wasn't too hard following the tutorial, but I noticed someone had uh, an issue with it. So I hope this helped out. Peace. Oh yeah. And I just got my creator code in the item shop. So, uh, make sure you guys use that.